Hello everyone, welcome back to Mrs. Ray Food Channel. I hope everyone is doing well today. In today's recipe, I'm going to show you how to make the very best pan fried whole tilapia with a very tasty bell pepper sauce. You lick your fingers. I had mine with fried yam. Henry, stop it. Hmm? Okay? Okay? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I had mine with uh, fried yams and you know my green pepper sauce it is just wonderful so if you are interested please watch the video and I'll see you next time please don't forget to leave me likes to share my videos and to leave me comments thank you and see you next time bye bye, bye. hello dear friends so this is it this is my amazing pan fried whole tilapia with a very tasty bell peppers sauce you can have this fish with banku with fried yam as a matter of fact I'm going to enjoy this with fried yam so if you are interested please keep on watching and I'll see you next time so let's get started for this recipe, I'm going to use tilapias, fresh tilapias, and I'm actually going to use six tilapia. For the bell pepper sauce, I'm going to use five scotch bonnet peppers, some ginger about the size of a thumb, one red bell pepper, one orange bell pepper, and two pointed red bell peppers. I've also got one big onion and about four garlic cloves. So now I'm going to spice my fish with one tablespoon full of prawn flavor stock, a teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of all purpose seasoning, one tablespoon of onion powder, one tablespoon of garlic granules, and one tablespoon of fish flavor stock. You also need a bit of flour for the fish. I'm going to use vegetable oil. For my stir fry, I have three different colors, bell peppers and one onion. So what I usually do is I make some cuts on each side of the tilapia. And then I'll place it in a large enough container because I have about six tilapias. And then I'm going to add my oil. So I've got here about three tablespoons of vegetable oil. And then very easy, I'm going to add my spices. So these are the spices I showed you at the beginning. And then I'm going to make sure the spices and the oil are well mixed with the fish. So do it well, take your time. Um, make sure you rub it very well because it is very important to do that. Don't forget inside the fish and also in the cuts please be careful with the fish bones and then I'm gonna cover it with cling film and leave it in the fridge until I finish my bell pepper sauce so this is what I usually do I remove all the seeds from the bell peppers and then I'll chop it roughly because I'm going to blend everything and here it's my bell peppers chopped my onion, my scotch bonnet peppers, my ginger and my garlic. So now I'm going to put all of this in my blender. This sauce is very easy. And then I'm going to add some water to make it easier to blend. And then I'm going to blend it until it becomes very smooth. So this is it. It is well blended. And what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to put it on fire. Okay. So pour it into a pan and let it reduce. Let the water reduce from it. And you'll see a big difference when all the water has evaporated from it. So this is it. There is no more water or just a little bit of water. So this is what we need right now. And then I'm going to add half a cup of vegetable oil and leave it to cook for about two minutes and then I'm going to add one 
tablespoon of brown or crayfish flavor stock to it. I'm gonna stir it and I'm gonna lower the heat and leave it on for about five to seven minutes and my bell pepper sauce will be ready. So now I'm gonna forget about this and carry on with my fish. So add some fresh vegetable oil into a large enough pan and let it heat up. When the oil is hot, add in some flour. The flour is gonna make your fish look good, have a golden color and it won't damage. So now my oil is hot enough and I'm gonna fry my tilapia. I'll fry my tilapia two by two. It's better. And then I'm gonna turn it over to the other side to make sure it also fries properly. So um, I don't usually let my fish fry too much because I like it when it's a bit soft inside but that depends on myself only. So my fish is ready now and I'm going to take it out from the oil and let the oil drain on kitchen towel. So now back to my other set of um, paprika and onion. Everything has been chopped. So I'm going to season this with a few spices. Some garlic granules, one tablespoon of all pepper seasoning, a little bit of black pepper and some salt. So in another pan, I'm going to add some vegetable oil and add in my bell peppers and onion when oil is hot. And then I'm going to give it a good stir and let it fry on a medium heat. Next, I'm going to add my spices. So these are the spices I have just showed you. If you think you need a little bit of salt, please do add it. So everything is ready now and this is just um, a serving suggestion. So this is how I usually do it. So I first start with some bell pepper sauce and then I'll place my tilapia on it. Um, in this case I have placed two tilapias and then I'm gonna add a bit more of my bell pepper sauce. And then I'm gonna add my bell pepper stir fry, my bell pepper and onion stir fry, and that's it. It is all ready, guys. So I really hope you enjoyed this recipe. I enjoyed it with my fried yam and my green pepper sauce. As you can see, you know you already have the recipe, but this recipe, this fish will go very well with some nice Ghanaian banku or even kenke. Thank you for watching this video. Leave me comments, thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. God bless you. Bye-bye.